In this video, we're going to go over some other methods that you can use with the hover method. And specifically, we're going to use the show and hide method. Those are two very popular methods that are used with the hover method. And you can use it to show and hide many different things on a web page, any element basically that you want. But I'd say the two most common uses for it are showing and hiding images and menus. So in this video, we're actually going to use it with images. And in a later video, we'll use it with menus. So what we want to do actually is show and hide old Julius Caesar here. But before we do that, let's give this some more relevant text. We'll say hover over this area to show Julius or something like that. Let's change our text here. So we'll say hover over this area to show Julius. Good. And now let's go ahead and we're going to specify the show method. And remember, this first function gets activated when we hover over the element. In this case, it's going to be the same element we used in the last video. So when we hover over this right section here, it will reveal this image. When we hover off of it, it will be hidden. And of course, our second method is for the hover off, of course. Now, we don't need any arguments in our show method. So that doesn't need any arguments. It will just show whatever we tell it to show. And in this case, we want to select our IMG, right? And we want to select it down here as well, of course. And then we're going to use the hide method right here. And we're going to get rid of all the arguments. And let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and reload our page. And hopefully this works. And it does. Look at that. It says, hover over this area to show Julius. So when we hover over it, we get Julius. When we hover off of it, it disappears. So, and so these methods can really start to make your page very interactive. I will see you guys in the next video.